Manchester United, but that was at home where you would expect them to do that and against United as well. Do you think perhaps coming away, going away from home and to Anfield where you have a terrible record, the Newcastle defeat could still be on their mind and that's something you could prey on, you could take them to that place again? No, it's not what I'm thinking about. I, I, the Newcastle, I came home, um, had to put, switch the television on, it was 1 0. Had something else to do. Wanted to watch the game a bit later. When I came back, it was five nil. It was like I, I honestly thought it was wrong on the screen. That something had made a choke or something like that. So I had to watch it back later. So Newcastle is obviously is, is a very good moment. You could see that last night. Individuals, um, we really shining, full of confidence. These kind of things. So that these kind of things can happen. Um, and then it was a normal game. After that, the game ended 1-1, I think. Um, no, you can never, I, or I, I never could in my life think like that. It's, it's because um, to find for yourself the right attitude into a game, you have to think the opponent is, is extremely strong. And they are strong. And a very famous German coach said once, if you always expect an easy game, you will never have one. If you always expect a super difficult game, from time to time, you might have an easy one. So the other way around doesn't work. So it's just like that. And um, no, I have no clue what happens to all Tottenham. I see Harry Kane, I see Hermingson, I see Kulisevsky, I, I see Perisic, Richarlison, Heuberg, and so on, on, on. So they played exceptional football during their careers. So and that's we realized this year that we have we had some problems in moments. And maybe other teams thought, oh that's a great moment to, to, to meet Liverpool. And maybe it was, I don't know. But if I would have been in the other camp I would never have imagined that Liverpool will show up weak. And I cannot think about Tottenham in any other way that I expect them to be really strong. You give them one ball and it could be the wrong one and they go and end up in front of your goal. Harry Kane can score from pretty much everywhere. Uh, in a really difficult game last night, the big chance he prepared for for for, for Son when Heuberg lets the ball go through, it's exceptional. So that you have not a good game, not a great game, but it's still this quality. So that is the real threat. They have real quality and we have to make sure that they cannot show it. So that's it. But that's always the same in the best Tottenham moments or in the lesser good Tottenham moments. And, um, I respect a lot the quality of their team. Tom? I know. I said that already, yes, I had. Night before the game, JK and JH met. <laughs> JWH, sorry. I bet it ended Chen AK. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was good. Yeah. Oh, welcome. Any insights? Yeah, to the Daily Mail. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure that the drug is already invented. You would have to give me <laughs> to do that. Um, you touched on this already with, when you're speaking about Curtis. It's, it's like this season, because some of the results, people are going right off the whole, your whole midfield. You've got, you've got to replace everyone. And he's been one of those. But actually, you've got Curtis, uh, Harvey, and Vatsitic, who are all 22 and under. I presume that when I mean, you're talking about rebuilding, that is very much part of your plan. Those young players who will be shown, and Curtis is currently showing, that they are, they, are, they are part of it. And that's part of the plan to rebuild with those players as well as bringing others in. Yeah, of course. Um, it's it's good that in this case that we make the decisions and we don't let, um, especially not the people make the decisions who um, write on social media commentaries or stuff like this because that's the only one you hear. 
the other guys who are happy with what we are doing or not happy with what we are doing, they just keep it with themselves, it's fine. And they like us on one day and don't like us the next day. But if you go through social media and, and look there and you think, oh my God, there's really no, no bigger problem in the world than our midfield and stuff like this. So I understand it 100%. Um, I, somebody showed me after the game now we played against no, our last game. Showed me afterwards the the thing on I'm not sure where it was Instagram or wherever. Showed me that when our lineup, when people get aware of our lineup and then what they write about it. <laughs> and I think and nobody, and not a lot of them wanted Curtis on the pitch. Not a lot of them wanted Cody on the pitch. Um, when they saw that Joel Matip is playing, everybody was like, "How can we well, game off?" I watched the other game, stuff like this. And there are people they like us usually. It's just I understand that this season makes people nervous. I understand that we were not ourselves in big parts of the season. That's it. But we still have to make good decisions and not panic decisions and saying, that's it for them. He will never come back. He will never be able to play football. That's not how it is. That's when I said, whatever we do in the summer, it will be not enough for the people in the first place. That's how it is. Um, but that's the job. We have to make decisions of the things we know, on the basis of the things we know. And um, that's exactly what we will do. And yes, we have a lot of potential in this team. We didn't show it all um, very often this year, but we have a lot of potential in this team. And we will keep that, use that, improve that, and bring new players in. So that's both possible, I think. And I'm really pleased that Harvey played big parts of the season, was for big spells our cons most consistent player. Um, and Curtis shows now up. Stefan, I think, was uh, a real, a real, um, what is that, revelation that you read, it. Oof, who is that, oh my God, he's really good, so all these kind of things, but other players play good football as well, and now not all of them are too old or stuff like this, and you need experience in a team as well. We will, we will be improved after preseason. This year will help us as well um, after uh, all the other intense years, which were intense for different reasons. This was an intense one as well, but at least we didn't play as much football <laughs> as we did in the years before. And that's what's something we have to use as well. We want to go back to, to big finals, to big occasions, all these kind of things. And for that, we have to work hard and a lot, and we will do that, and we need the right players, and that's what we will have as well. Awesome. Thank you. Welcome.